So today I'm gonna be attempting to recreate a TikTok filter. Let me show you. Oh, too bright. I'll have it on the screen. But basically it's one of these filters that doesn't actually change your face. It just puts makeup on it. I haven't been into makeup for like so long, but I feel like I am getting back into makeup again. So I wanna recreate this look and see how well I can do it um, because it's super simple. So it feels like something I should be able to do. Yesterday I went to CVS. I got a new liquid eyeliner, the cheapest one in the store pretty much because my other one is like two years old because I haven't done makeup for so long. I'm gonna start off with the Blistex here. A lot of people have asked me to do like an androgynous makeup tutorial, which I get why people have asked me to do that, but I don't feel like I'm that good at doing makeup. So basically this look is just like very bronzy. So we're gonna try it. I'm just gonna film me doing it. Gonna use my little sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. A lot of my products are absolutely ancient. Probably not good to put them on my face, but here we are. I'm just gonna put this under my eyes. I, as you probably have noticed, have been uploading a lot more using this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I did not buy this. I found this on the ground and it was in my shade. Putting that out there. <laughs> what was I saying? I've been uploading a lot more. And that is because YouTube has become fun for me again. Yay. I kind of wasn't paying attention while I was doing that. I need my mirror to be closer to me. Oh, <sighs> stress. The moment I start filming myself doing something, I forget how to do it. This concealer is like very um, blurring, I guess. So it is kind of funny given the fact that I don't put any foundation on the rest of my face. I haven't really felt this way about YouTube in a really long time where it's like filming a video or like making a video in general. Like I still had to kind of like will myself to sit down and do this, but it feels like the funnest thing I could do. Like it feels so fun. Um, and it's just like creative fun outlet. I'm basically just playing right now. Cannot remember a time when that was the case for YouTube. Like it must've been like that when I was younger, but it hasn't felt like that in so long. <laughs> it's very like unfamiliar feeling, but it's been like, so fun. In my skincare video, I mentioned how, you know, the sponsorships have sort of been stressful and I've kind of like let go of doing sponsorships in a way. Like I'm still doing some, but that's not something I'm like really actively seeking. It just doesn't have the same like importance to me as it did before. And it's just like letting go made everything better. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the I mentioned this in my book video, um, which I posted today. <laughs> a lot of the I'm sorry, I'm looking for my little powder thing. I have this tiny sample of the Tarte, what is it? Smooth Operator. All, all these tiny samples are from my Epsi ages ago. So long ago, my little powder brush. I talked about how accomplishing the goal of reading books felt sort of like I manifested it because I just knew I was gonna accomplish my goal because it was a very achievable goal that I set. And another part of like manifestation is like kind of letting go of your desires and just trusting in the universe and stuff. And I feel like I am doing that and it is benefiting me in all the ways that it's supposed to. Yeah, big just like mindset change recently. And I think it's just really good for me and I'm having a lot of fun and I'm uploading more frequently, which I'm not sure if is like good for the algorithm because like there's sort of this idea when it comes to content creation of scarcity. If you upload less, but very consistently, people will tune back in. But if you upload like a lot, then people have a lot more options. They might be less likely to click on every little video, but I'm just not trying to think about YouTube like that. I'm just trying to like exist. Okay, I need to reference this again. How do I normally do this? Maybe I put my blush first and then my bronzer yes here sorry the lid came off this is a blush i got at like daiso this is the brand apparently i don't know i like this color though <laughs> gonna do 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 that on my nose filter has a lot of blush oop i did a little too much over here but it's fine just giving that little sunburned look <laughs> and then the next part is the bronzer i don't know where anything is oh it's right in front of me this is the tarte park avenue princess bronzer this is also a sample i got in my ipsy i never like as a child <laughs> as a child as a high schooler or anything bought fancy products and i still haven't but one thing that i was sort of reckoning with was like i have the purchasing power now to like buy hyped up products and that's kind of exciting but could very easily lead to me spending a lot of money that i don't need to spend i'm just gonna 
you know, you know the drill. I really like this bronzer. I like don't understand how people go through makeup products because like, I guess people wear makeup every day. Some people do that. That has like never been true for me. So <laughs> I guess uh, I'm not one to talk. Okay, I'm looking bronzy. I think I need to do a little more, a little extra because this filter is extremely bronzed. I'm gonna just layer it on there. It looks like I was on vacation. It snowed three days ago and I know I have to kind of make my neck also bronzy. For the eyes, the eyes had a very simple look. It didn't even look like there was eyeshadow on there. It looked like there was just like a little bit of bronzer in the crease, which is what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna put down this shadow. This is peaches and cream in this palette. So it was like a birthday present one year. My granddad took me to Sephora and I was like, oh my God, like I can get anything. I'm just gonna pat that on there just to uh, give it a little more of a even base. And then I'm gonna go back in with this bronzer and my crease. I feel like I've been kind of consuming a lot of like materialistic content recently of like hauls and stuff, which I think that in experiencing that vicariously, I can avoid actually buying Stuff's very just mind numbing, honestly, which is fine, but that's what it is. I'm actually gonna go in with, gonna go in with. I've used this shadow a lot, but it's like, it doesn't look like I have. Whereas this one, like I've used them that, I don't know, man. I was thinking about getting a colorful palette because I like, oh my God, I need to focus right now. One minute. This brush has some shimmer on it, unfortunately, but we're just gonna accept that. And I'm actually gonna, I think do a little bit of a, um, I keep sticking out my tongue. I don't know what that's about. I'm gonna do a little bit of a eyeshadow eyeliner first. I have been considering getting a colorful eyeshadow palette because I really like putting this red shadow under my eyes when I do do makeup because it's kind of scary looking, but I kind of want to be able to do that with any color I want. So if you have a recommendation of a palette with a lot of different colors, please do tell me. I'm gonna use Caramelize under my lash line. <laughs> this looks so different. That's fine. It looks very thick here. <laughs> oh well. You know, if any makeup brands want to send me any PR packages, I would be happy to do little unboxings for you on my TikTok. <laughs> Just gonna accept that. I'm gonna put on highlighter because I didn't do that. This ah! <laughs> this is held together by tape. This is the Elf Pink Tastic Baked Blush. This is not even sold anymore. But this was so hyped up back in the day, and I still use it. And I'm sure their baked highlighter is like just. This is what this is. Look at that. It looks so good. Okay, and I'm gonna put some in the inner corner because I'm one of those bitches. <laughs> the ad suitability ranking just changed. <laughs> when you upload a video now, you have to basically like say if you like swear and stuff in the like little uploady thing, um, which is funny. I think everything just feels better now though that YouTube feels fun because it's like, it feels like there's a, balance, a better balance in my life because it doesn't feel like work anymore. And like sometimes it's still gonna be that when I have like sponsorships to do, but otherwise it's just like, can be that other activity of life, of creativity. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna attempt the eyeliner now. Can I get it open is the question. This is, what is it? What are you? This is the e.l.f. H2O Proof eyeliner pen and jet black. Ooh, nice and long. Let's see about that. I don't, oh, I don't know how to do this. Boop. Okay, that's nice. It's like inky, so. Let's see if I can do this. I've been doing a straight out wing recently, but this filter doesn't have that and I'm not sure if I should change it. And this filter is very like, zoop, doop. Okay, so it's not. A... This, <laughs> this is, I'm really not used to an eyeliner that's actually works so this is gonna be hard those are going in different directions okay it's fine it's gonna be fine i didn't put this high up enough okay this is where we're at these look wildly different i'm gonna try to fix it we went for the straight out look <laughs> uh not intentionally but that's what happened it's kind of hard to tell but my eyes are actually two different shapes this tends to be a little difficult that might be as good as it gets. Should I do something fancy? <laughs> Probably not. Probably shouldn't do that. I'm really thinking about it though. I'm not gonna do it, I'm just thinking about it. I'm gonna leave it alone. Curling, my mascara is, they're real. This is also ancient, so it's probably pretty dried up, but 
it works well still so if makeup still works but it's really old should you still like, use it should you stop using it because i don't want to just like throw something away just because like i'm technically not supposed to keep using when i went to cvs i also got the nail polish that's on my nails right now because i saw it and my, made my brain go wee woo this is a sally hansen insta dry in cosmic blue this took so many layers i think this is like four or five layers so definitely needs to go on top of a similar color but i really like it and i'm gonna be wearing this because i really like it i'm really not used to wearing colors on my nails it's usually only black because that's like <laughs> the andro color all right children i was saying girls and boys and that doesn't apply and children is weird so people i will be using the next soft matte lip cream in in four <laughs> what london this is very pretty i don't even like wearing lip products but i do like this this is the finished look i feel pretty i don't know if i did the filter justice but i think i did myself justice let me fix my hair much better. I feel cute. So yeah, this was my little makeup video. <laughs> this is from yesterday. This is, I'm not gonna drink it. No. Face tour. Beep boop. Okay, I'm gonna go film the TikTok being like, this is the end result now. Uh, but I will see you in the next one. But you know, I, no, no, I should go